to say? He just said, are you willing? Are you willing? I just heard that you're able to do this. You said, blessed are those, blessed are those, blessed are those. Is that for me also? Could I also receive this same hope that you're talking about? Can I receive that same love that you're talking about? I'm hurting. I'm tired. I've gone through this and I've gone through that. I need somebody. The man comes out of the rock and as he comes out, he bows his heart. Listen to me today. You know what he did? He bowed his heart. He let his pride go. He understood that he needs somebody more than what he thinks he needs. He needs a God. He needs Jesus. And this man came. And Jesus, as a loving father, comes and looks for you. He looks to where you're at. And he sees where you're hiding. And he says, what is it? And he goes to you. And yet the Bible says that he touched him. He touched him. Religion will tell you that you're not good enough to receive God's blessing. And because you don't do this and you don't do that, that's why you're not blessed. My friend, I'm here to tell you, to preach to you about a son that came to tear the curse down. To break down the curse. To tell you that he loves you. And yes, he hates sin, but he loves you. And because he loves you, he's willing to put up with whatever you're going through. To be able to see you through whatever you're going through. I look at my son, I said, there's nothing that you ever, ever, nothing that will ever keep you away from me being your father. I am your father forever, whether you like it or not, ever. And nothing will ever stop me from loving you. I told my son that. I love you, son. Nothing, nothing. And the father told me, if you have that deep love for your son, and you know that he's not perfect, then how much more do you think that I have love for you? Amen. And I said, oh, Father, I receive the same love. It's not a God that you have to come and beg. He's not a God to say, please, please, God, please, God. He's not a God. He don't want you to beg to him. He wants you to receive what he heard he gave you. He gave you something. He gave you a blessing. My friend, today, if you say, listen, I need a touch. I need a touch. My body is hurting. I need a touch in my marriage. I need a touch in my finances. I need a touch. Where do you need grace at? Where do you need grace at? Where today you'll say, listen, today I surrender to this powerful God. I want you to stand with me. Listen to me. Whatever you're going through today, there's nothing that the Father will run from you. If you have received Jesus Christ and He has forgiven, then He has forgiven you of your sins. What's your sins? The sins are the created mistakes that we make. We created mistakes in life because of our sins. Some of you have liver, liver problems because of your mistakes. Some of you have back problems because of your mistakes. Some of you have marriage problems because of your mistakes. Some of you have financial problems because of your life spending of your mistakes. And it's been your mistake and you don't deserve it. But my friend, I want to tell you today that Jesus is able to touch that area and bring you back to the place and bring you back to holiness, bring you back to righteousness, and bring you back. And there's people that say, no, no, unless you repent, unless you repent. My friend, there was nowhere here that he repented. Let's stop being so caught up on, 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 on this and on that. You know what he did? The word repent means metanoia, means a turning around of mind. This man turned his mind around about his situation and he went back to the man. And that is repenting. People walking and turning their minds around. Listen to me. I need Jesus. And Jesus has given me everything. Thank you, giving Amen. My friend, today I invite you to this altar call. If you are a 